Formula rankings. This is the pro stuff. After much deliberation, we have come we to a conclusion. A we got in a huge fight over this. Uh, almost ended the podcast. Norman won, Gardner two, James, Van Niekerk, Allison, Hudson Smith, Curley, and Dory, Godwin, and then Michael Cherry. You'll never guess what we got in a fight about. Because now, in retrospect, it seems a little silly because it was over five and six. <laughs> I had Hudson Smith higher. He had Allison higher. It's okay. I won the argument. We buried the you hatchet. You also got $100 today, so you can't Yeah, so what I, that's what I said. I'm going to bury the hatchet. But uh, break this down for me. What do you think? So, obviously, Norman was the unanimous number one. The question I had a little bit of question, like, should we keep Gardner two? Because injury, you're like, doesn't matter. And I was like, but it, maybe it should. He's like, you can't project an injury. He still ran a 300. It's not like... He ran a quick 200 this year. He ran a quick too. 200. So, we're not going to really know his true 400-meter form until May anyway. So, you just got to keep him two. And then Van Niekerk moved up to four. Based off his 44 17. Yeah, and you could argue he's. Can go even higher. But yeah, Karani James has given us no reason to drop him. So yep. you got to keep James up there. And then the rest is kind of, you know, shuffle up, shuffle him up, and you kind of put any order. I think we did put in Fred Curley, though. Yeah. Well, and Norman. Because and, we, those are two people for the U.S. who may not even run yeah. the event who are in there. Curley's probably 99.9% .9 chance not running the event. But we figured, you know what? If we're going to throw Norman on the 100, let's throw Curly on the 400, even it out. And then two months from now, when one decides to do the other, then we can take off Curly. Yes, exactly. And then you're right. That back group, though, Indori, Godwin, Cherry. You talked about Christopher Taylor being in there as well. I like uh, – I almost had him 10th. Uh, Muzala Samukonga of Zambia. He ran – he didn't make the finals at Worlds, but he went on and won – won Commonwealths, um, won the African Championships as well. He's one to look out for. He's only he's only 20 years old. He ran 44-6 last year. And, of course, because it's the 400, there's going to be another young person who pops up this year, yeah. 19, 20 years old, who gets a big PR. But I don't, I, this one is just – there's so much doubt about Norman – like that whole top 10, there's there's a ton of questions just based on who's running what event. So this one is going to move a lot, I think, as the, as the season progresses. Yeah, but I don't think it's going to move at the top. I, it's going to be hard for Norman Gardner, James, and Van Niekerk to really move, I, I think. I think the odds of anyone else jumping into that top four is very rare. Well, but my thing is if it becomes clear Norman's not running the quarter, then, then okay. you got to move sure. somebody – else in there but you, you feel really confident about gardner james and van niekirk yeah that's your that's no your early podium yeah assuming norman doesn't run yeah okay for sure that makes sense form would hold but again i just there's gonna be someone else who upsets the form charts i think and it's the quarter